Hey traders from around the world, what's going on? It's me, Jeremy Alexander Newsom, and Jesse Levan from Philadelphia. Um, real life trader, been trading for about eight years now. Eight years has been that long? Yeah, man. <laughs> what? I did not know that. Yep. Oh wow, that's <laughs> time fantastic. Flies. Yeah, time does fly. Well, guys, uh, so the Philadelphia Eagles won, right? Oh, and, yeah. Uh, he, oh, yeah. He came 52 out, years. <laughs> <laughs> he came down to Nashville to rub it in my face, which is fine. I'm a Brady fan. All is well. No big deal. We let, we got to the gym today. We traded together. It was a good day. Uh, let's go hop into some charts, look at some stocks, and this is your Friday Real Life Stock Review. Thanks for being awesome. You guys rock. All right, folks. Thanks so much for watching that intro with my boy Jesse and myself. Um, we're here in the studio, we're just looking at the general market. So we're gonna pull up the SPY and just kind of talk about this particular move today. Uh, I like the upper shadow, I like the volume. We have one, two, three, four, five, six white candles in a row. At this particular point in time, it's actually a pretty big deal that SPY closed above the high of the February 7th candle. It was a very strong shooting star candle. If you had to rank which candle is stronger, that one or this one, you definitely have to say this one, but this one today is not that bad. And a uh, nice little upper shadow. We are up pre-market, but this is a holiday weekend. There's a long way to go to Tuesday. So keep that in mind because if the market does gap down and opens below the low of um, today, I could easily expect a little bit of a pullback and a bounce. But at this level, that's exactly what I'm looking for slash wanting slash hoping for on the SPY. Whatever that rotation looks like, if it's this, if it's this, uh, if it's something like this, if it's something like this, whatever it is, there will need to be a rotation of some kind. And uh, I'm interested to see exactly what that looks like. That'll be a very good buying opportunity. The really interesting and wild part is this is February 1st right here on SPY. And uh, that was at 281. So if the SPY continues up another 10 points, the S&P will actually end positive for the month which if you had told me that a month ago, uh, I would have called you a liar. But this is just a phenomenal, phenomenal bullish rally. And again, just a beautiful bounce off the 200 down here. Fantastic buying spots and uh, uh, I absolutely love it. So let's go look at some individual stocks that you guys request. As you know, uh, those are the stocks I look at, the ones that you request. I did play Google for a very small gain today, about 0.4 Rs. Um, I was day trading with uh, Ashley and Jesse earlier today, and here's the trade that I did. So I was looking at this white candle, we kind of broke above, here was the five minute chart on Google, and uh, I feel really good about my exit now looking at this. So you had the, a, a very nice high wave candle. I would have loved to tell you that I got in above that high with a stop right there. That would have been a great thing, uh, but I did not. So once this black candle came in, we broke higher. I got in here uh, on, a, on a pullback with a stop right there. And I exited my position right there uh, on Google, just as I was making that new high, right? That wave structure, boom, boom. I always draw those waves, right? So when you draw a wave, think about it, sell high, buy low. So if you're drawing waves, if, if, if you're making that new wave, that's usually the good time to sell, right? When you have that profit locked in. So looking at and getting an idea for that wave structure on Google uh, was a certainly a big help this morning. From here, as far as the swing trade goes, uh, again, nice little upper shadow on most of the markets. You know, do we pull back? Maybe, maybe a little bit. Maybe we pause on Tuesday, but it is a holiday weekend. Uh, I think this, 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 you know, we trade sideways for two or three days and we continue higher would make a lot of sense uh, as far as a wave rotation is concerned on a smaller time frame. But again, if we do have a nice rollover in the market, come down here to trap a lot of the overzealous bulls, I'll be looking at buying that dip as well for certain at this point on the markets. So that was Google that was requested. Here's PRGS, Progress Software. And what is cool about this one is you got yourself a nice, Pennant pattern right there. Very pretty pennant. Um, good resistance. This was a retest. Gap action. And uh, gapped good volume. We got a little bit of a pullback. Here's kind of the retest, and we're so we're consolidating right now. If I turn on the exponential moving averages, you'll see we're still kind of chopping those of the pretty sideways. Here's the weekly chart. I'm gonna zoom out on the weekly. 
Yeah, so this trend has moved. It's, it's a pretty strong move at this level. I mean, it went from 23 bucks uh, in December 2015 to 50. So that's, you know, pretty strong. Pulling back to the 10 EMA on the weekly, my thought on progress software is it'll likely chop around a little bit longer. But if and when you do get a good candle that closes above this resistance, that would be the time that I would set up a limit buy opportunity to snag a pullback on that bad boy. Here's Amazon. My buddy Jesse wanted to uh, look at this one. He's in some Amazon calls. What uh, What's your deets on that one? Inside day candle. Perfect. Beautiful. Inside day. Where'd you get in, Jess? On Amazon? Uh, I'm on the day when I hit the 50. You got in here? But not, not all the way down there. <laughs> I wasn't that good. No, no. But, but that day? Yeah. Nice, dude. Very nice. I, I remember um, this was a phenomenal setup. I got in some calls. We got in some calls right here, right? And then we got stopped out. And then you got in on the same day you got stopped out? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because that's... Because that's, it went all the way down to the next uh, yep. buy zone. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Is I wanted to get in at the 50, but I just missed it that day. And I, I was dumb. I didn't pull the trigger. Anyway, next day was a beautiful new white soldier candle. Uh, this was just a nice, healthy retracement. And Amazon looks pretty strong right now. I mean, as far as most of the stocks out there, looking over this one, you've got a lot of patterns, a lot of support and resistance but we never crossed the moving averages. Uh, we never had any really strong bearish signals on Amazon whatsoever. So at this point, if we continue higher on Monday, Tuesday, that'll be an absolutely beautiful move. Gorgeous resistance here on Amazon. So worst case scenario, of course, we trade back down. Jesse gets trailed out. He makes a little bit of money and he buys again at the support level. That's pretty much the way you would play it. And of course, if we trade sideways, we have a good strong day on Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, that would be a very strong breakout on Amazon. And at that particular level, my thought process is at least that Amazon will be seeing 1600 before you know it. Next on the list is Target, for example, TGT. Target trading sideways, a few real life traders in on this one. Another stock that did pull back, but it looks pretty different than the market. Strong bullish move, pull back into the 50, bloop, bloop, double bounce there. You got a retest, cap action, right about there. Nice little level. So we're retesting, we're trading sideways. If target dips back into that, it would probably be a buyable event more than likely. And uh, at this point, it's a nice little pennant pattern. Here's the weekly chart on target. And that's a nice, very nice morning star reversal on target. So if we make a high above 77.22, it would be my contention that target trades up into the 85 area towards the end of the year. Of course, got to talk about Litecoin for my Litecoin fans. Here's the daily chart on a ticker symbol LTCUSD. And of course, I would like to admit for anyone who is interested in the cryptocurrency program at Real Life Trading, we did teach the Real Life Trading pro program right in there. And our goal the entire time was to buy off of the 200 simple on the daily chart. If you did that, ladies and gentlemen, you have made a 100% return in the last two weeks on Litecoin, meaning you paid for the program, you paid for everything, you made a lot of currency. Congratulations. So anyway, that's the cryptocurrency program for anyone who uh, didn't get in. It's a lot of money to be made out there, folks. Nice inside day candle. Look at this volume on Litecoin. I mean, this is this is a double bottom if I've ever seen one. Nice double bottom, good close. So could Litecoin pull back down to this area? The answer is absolutely. Uh, if you would, I'd, I'd probably be looking at picking up uh, a coin or two down there if that occurs. But if we keep, keep trading sideways and this volume stays like this, what will happen is you know, you'll continue to stay above the daily moving averages very nicely. And then of course, we're also beautifully above the weekly moving averages. And, uh, and that's just a very, very pretty candle. So yeah, a pullback is possible if it happens. It wouldn't be shocking at all. I think that 170 to 185 range makes a lot of sense. And then from there, we likely continue higher. But Litecoin, next target, probably sometime in late March, early April, potentially about 360 and some change. And I got one last request uh, from Christian, which was Intel, take some little INTC and Intel Corporation. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this right here is called the Chris Hemsworth Hammer of Thor, also commonly known as the Jesse LeVan Hammer of Thor. You could be the stunt double in that movie is all I'm saying, man. <laughs> 
Uh, beautiful hammer at the 100. Entry would be right above there. Stop would probably be somewhere below there. And uh, we are making a little bit of higher highs and higher lows at this particular moment in time. But the good news is Intel in a weekly chart is in a little bit of a consolidation. This and Cisco, ticker symbol CSCO, are two stocks longer term blue chip buy and hold dividend paying stocks that have broken out of a long term consolidation intel and csco and to me look pretty healthy on the bullish side so i would certainly keep your eyes peeled on those two especially for my longer term traders folks from around the world thanks so much for tuning in to your friday real life stock review there were a lot of fantastic testimonials today that i received from traders my good buddy, Alberto, who uh, used to live down there in Puerto Rico, made 10R on Apple. My good friend, Drake, um, who's a big fan of trading AMD, he has broken the 20R barrier for the 2018 calendar year, and we're only in the middle of February. So those are my two shout outs for the day. Uh, Ryan Case, congratulations for beating me on VFC. I did day trade VFC, and uh, I made 0.6Rs on it, but Ryan Case, I got R and a half, you dirty monster, you. So it looks like I have my stop. Shoot, I moved my stop too low. <laughs> I didn't come back to it after that, but man, that's that's obvious, Newsome. What are you doing here? Low of the day break, reads, oh, geez, what a noob. Anyway, I'm going to go drink my sorrows away. Folks, have a great weekend. You are splendid. Enjoy your long weekend Monday. The U.S. markets are closed. Don't be here. I won't be here. I will see you on Wednesday. And until that time, remember, love life, love life, and trade it. You guys rock. <laughs>